everybody. We're going to do a income tax calculation for a federal income tax um, return. We're going to use a salary of $100,000 for this example. And you're just going to put that into the top salary box. Next up, you have our FICA taxes, which are Medicare and Social Security. So in this one, you're going to transfer your salary down once more. Now, the rate for Medicare is... 1.45%, so we're gonna multiply by 0 0.0145. And when you do that, so 100,000 times 0 0.0145, you get 1450. So that's how much we owe in Medicare tax. Social Security goes back to the same salary, and this one is at 6.2%, so 0. 062, don't forget that zero. And so 100,000 again times 0 0.062, we get 6,200. Now, the hard part about this, or the thing you have to remember, is that when you go to federal taxable income, your FICA taxes do not reduce your federal taxable income. You go back up to your salary once more. So $100,000. Our standard deduction for 2023, if you look at your tax tables, which you can find with this Calculate Net Com Income resource or Calculate Net Pay resource, for 2023, a single person, which is what I'm going to pretend to be in this case, is 13850 And then if you have a traditional retirement contribution, which I will do for this example, let's pretend we're putting $2,000 into a traditional 401k, 403b, 457, or IRA, this does affect how much taxable income you have. So the federal government will reduce the amount of income they tax if you make a pre-tax contribution to a retirement account. And in this case, we're going to put $2,000 in there. So your taxable income is going to be salary minus standard deduction minus traditional contributions if you have any. If you have nothing, just put zero in there. So 100000 minus 13,850 minus 2,000, I have 84,150. Of taxable income. So $84,150 of taxable income. Then we now go into our progressive tax system. So we've taken out the standard deduction, which is the amount you're allowed to make before tax. Now we start filling up the brackets from the 10% all the way up until there's no money left to go into it. So our taxable income comes from the box over here. So it's 84,150. We have a 10% bracket amount. And for this one, we look at how much the 10% bracket can hold, and that comes from our tax tables. For the 10% bracket, it holds from zero to $11,000. So that means your first $11,000 would go into this bracket or it holds a max of 11,000. That's how much money fits into this one. My 84,150 is greater than that, so I'm gonna fill this one up completely. The full 11,000 is going to go into this bracket. And 11,000 times 10%, you just move the decimal place over one, so that's one, one, zero, zero. Most people, if you're making over, so 13,850 plus 11, so 24,000, 25,000, if you're making more than that, you're going to fill up this bracket. So if we think about the average income for Americans, that would fill up this bracket. So then you have taxed that 11,000. Taxes have been paid, it is not going to be taxed again. So 11,000 into the amount allocated. This has been taxed, so we take it away from the taxable income. So I have 84,150 minus 11,000. 11, and I get 73 thousand one hundred and fifty dollars so now the 12 percent bracket holds from the eleven thousand dollars we've taxed the first eleven from then to forty four thousand seven hundred twenty five that's our next bracket so the way we figure out the size of this one is we subtract the two of them so it'll be forty four thousand seven hundred and twenty five minus eleven thousand so 44, 725 minus 11, 1, 2, 3. So 
So this one can hold 33,725. Our remaining taxable income is still greater than this, so we're going to fill this one up again. So we filled up the first bracket, we filled up the second bracket. And this gets taxed at 12%. So 33,725 times 0 0.12, 4047. So $4,047 goes into our second bracket in terms of being taxed. So 12% bracket, you pay out $4,047 in taxes. We've taxed this 33725 so that does not get taxed again. We subtract it from our remaining taxable income. So I have 73150 minus 33725. So I now have $39,425 left of taxable income. The 22% bracket, so we look over here, that is from the $95,375 after the 44725 has already been taxed, so the difference of those two numbers. So I got 95375 minus 44725. So 95375 minus 44725. So this one holds 50,650 dollars. Now, my taxable income that's left, that hasn't been taxed yet, is less than this. So that means the whole amount is going to be in this bracket, where we haven't filled up the 22% bracket, so we're not going to go into the 24 one. So $39,425 goes into this box, and we tax it at 22%. So when we are talking about this fictional person of $100,000 salary, we would say they are in the 22% tax bracket. That's the highest bracket they go up to. So we have the 39,425 in this bracket gets taxed at 22%. Let's put that in, 39,425 times 0.22, and we get 8,673.50. So 8,673.50. And we are done now with our income. We have filled up as high as we can go. Our income has filled up to the 22% bracket, so we are considered to be in the 22% bracket when it comes to taxes. If we had made more money, we would continue to fill it up. So once we reach the 50,000, 60 mark up here, then we would move into the 24, 32, 35, 37, and so on. We're going to add up our three federal income tax um, owed boxes to get our total federal income tax owed. Remember, the FICA ones are their own taxes. You may be asked for those, you may not be. So I've got 1100 plus 4047 plus 8673.50. Okay, so that is our federal income tax return. Make sure you check out my channel, hit subscribe for more information about taxes and everything related to personal finance. Thanks for stopping by.